Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Uh, hey, Muse. Hey, Scott. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good, man. Good. good. Hey, you remember on Friday, there was a, a guy who reported that Alvin Kamara's suspension was likely to be in 2023 instead of 2022? I do remember that. Do you remember his name? Um, Balco Balco, right? Ooh, yeah. I totally forgot. Michael? Um, was it Michael? Michael. Oh. Look at that. I, Give I myself had, a ding. I had to go cross-check <laughs> my retweets. To remember this guy's name, Michael Balco Balco. Don't B A L K O. Uh, he is. Um, he's got a blue check mark. Uh, he's got eight thousand followers on Twitter. Uh, he said, uh, sports journalist, podcast host, featured on ESPN Rivals USA Today, and a contributor at Who Dat Dish. No, I. Ricky Jackson follows him. That's pretty cool. I have Ricky Jackson follows a lot of people though. But uh, anyway, Michael Balco Balco on Friday reported. A suspension for Saints running back Alvin Kamara is more likely to occur in 2023 rather than 2022 per multiple sources. That was Balco Balco on Friday. And my point on Friday was, I hope to goodness gracious that this is an accurate report. I typically would wait to say see it from Schefter or Rappaport or Nick Underhill, the people who typically break news around either the NFL or the Saints, right? The that's what they do. I mean, they develop those relationships to be the breaking news people. So when random guy from this podcast breaks news, but you cite sources, but he's got a blue check mark, and you hope that he's right, but maybe not, and you have a little grain of salt with it because you're not sure if he's true. But, of course, I want it to be the reality because I want Alvin Kamara to play this season, given the Saints a lot at running back. Well, guess what happened today? Uh, on the Fantasy Field Pass... Here was Adam Schefter. I think the league is going to be looking into this, but it's going to be a little while, it seems, before this legal case is settled. So if we're talking about Alvin Kamara from a fantasy standpoint, there's a real chance field that the status of that case is not going to affect his availability this season. Mm. Now, at some point in time, depending on what the investigation shows, yes, he could be disciplined. But in terms of... This season, it looks more and more unlikely that it's going to be the season. His attorneys keep pushing out the case. It keeps being pushed back. And by the time that there's resolution to it, this season may well be underway. And Alvin Kamara may be on the field for the majority, if not all, of this season. Well, that would be just fantastic news if, in fact, it did transpire that way. Um, and again, I've made the comp to a year ago where we looked at cornerback. Lattimore, we thought, was going to be suspended, and you had lost Jack Rabbit to a cap casualty, and so and, and then P-Rob retires, and we're going, who the hell is going to play cornerback? Well, look at what transpired. They traded for Bradley Roby. Lattimore never suspended. Adebo ends up being awesome, and now that's a strength of the team. I kind of look at running back, and, you know, fingers crossed, knock on for Mike, I hope the same thing. Kamara, if he doesn't face suspension this year, he could be your lead guy, stay healthy, Maybe Mark Ingram drinks from the fountain of youth a little bit. If one of these other guys, if it's Dwayne Washington, Tony Jones Jr., Abram Smith, kind of comes up maybe as a third running back, that would be awesome to see. Uh, by the way, here was Dennis Allen after the Saturday game against the Texans on the running backs. I thought they ran the ball hard. You know, again, we'll look at the tape to see, you know, exactly, you know, how they read it. But I felt like they ran the ball hard. You know, obviously, we got to protect the ball better. You know, we had the ball on the ground a couple of times for the running back position, so we got to do a better job there. So, um, the the fumble by Abram Smith was just the most brutal part of the game. I mean, the Saints are up. It's preseason. It, the win or loss is, is largely irrelevant. But what does matter is you're trying to ice a football game and a guy trying to make the team fumbles at the three-yard. That, that's, that's very disappointing. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.